It's been so wonderful serving the Lord all these years, hasn't it, sweetheart? He's been so good to us. Oh yes, dear. Life has been so very good for us. We have this fine house we built for ourselves so many years ago. Healthy, loving children, and even many grandchildren. I'm really looking forward to everyone coming home for the holidays again. Hello, Pastor. What brings you out this way on such a lovely day? Well, I thought for my morning stroll I might pass by your fine house and see if you were perhaps out sitting on your porch. It is indeed a wonderful day, isn't it? Yes, you couldn't ask for a better morning. Do you have your Easter morning message all prepared? The same message I've offered to the congregation for almost 30 years now, my friends. There's no need to change such a timely sermon when some form of perfection has been found in it. I firmly believe in offering to the congregation whatever it is they want to hear, and the Easter morning message I wrote so many years ago seems to be welcomed by all that hear it every passing year. I must agree with you, Pastor. We so look forward to all your sermons on those special days and the holidays we all celebrate. They are both expected and welcomed. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I must admit it offers me more time to do those things I really enjoy, and when I don't have to spend countless hours thinking about what the message should be for the next week, it offers me the opportunity to go out and enjoy life. I have found that our little assembly welcomes the expected. They find comfort in it. Yes, I completely agree. Life is to be enjoyed, and when we don't need to concentrate too much on the preparing for the future, we can enjoy it even more. My sentiments exactly. The congregation has found comfort in the security of the repetitiveness of the messages offered each Sunday morning to them. And I must admit, with all the free time I've had after having to do no more than simply taking from my files the sermons prepared years ago for the next Sunday morning, my golf game scores have lowered dramatically. I can't recall at the moment, brother. Is it your turn to prepare all the festivities for the after Easter morning service entertainment this year? Yes, it is. And we have been working extra hard on that this year. We have many more plastic eggs than ever before for the children, with different candies than last year. We even hired a young man to walk around in a large, pink, fluffy rabbit costume to amuse the children. That's just wonderful. I understand many of the ladies of the church are beginning preparations for quite a feast for all of us. It will be a great time for all, I'm sure. Yes, let's hope so. We've reserved a portion of the park downtown and have contracted with a local company to fence off a portion of it for us. I'm sure you've seen all the riff-raff that's been camping out down in the park lately, and we thought it would be a good idea to section off a part of it to keep them out while we enjoy each other's company on this special day for the Lord. Yes, that was a very good idea indeed. I don't know why the city council doesn't do something about all those people down there. They're a blight on our community. They should just load them all up on buses and move them to another town. It's a disgrace to our fine community. It seems to be the way the world is going now. As long as we can keep them from camping out in front of the church building, I think we'll all be all right. Those people need to go find jobs and become useful members of society instead of just leeching off all of us hard-working folks. I could not agree more. We should of course pray for them, but besides that, there's really nothing any of us can do for them. Well, I should be going. I want to make sure to finish my morning stroll before my tea time. It's a beautiful day, and I want to spend all the time I can today at the golf course. I can't think of any other place I would rather be. Before you go, Pastor, did you hear that my wonderful husband here has been chosen as the honorary head of the Easter Parade this year? No, I didn't. But I must say, I could not agree more with their decision. We'll have to make sure to tell everyone in the church next Sunday morning about that great honor bestowed on one of our finest elders. All right then, you two enjoy your day. I'll see you Sunday morning.